<laughs> the boardwalk ends in a cluster of drunk townies looking for some outdoors to call her own. <laughs> some woman in a skimpy bikini soaking up the mosquitoes <laughs> and lack of sun amid beneath the thick greenery. It's cool though. So that trail just dead end to a little observation deck at the end of a well-made boardwalk. This, no doubt, heads towards the actual estate house. Accessible by bus from Leechmere. If you're willing to walk a little, you could also get a 134 bus. Crappy map. <laughs> I think I'm right there. I'm looking at that narrow thing. That's what we're seeing there. Pond is probably the liveliest feature of this place and it has its own place where trails formal and informal. There's some kind of fish action. Lots of fish action actually. I can see some fry over there. Now that I'm not creating vibrations from stopping around and zooming around. This is really pretty amazing considering you can pick a bus here. I'm gonna head over to see where the estate was and then work my way back to the graveyard later. Go down to West Medford. There, after another refreshing pauses, taking my leave of the pond, 
seeing what we can find of the house. There's all sorts of legacy stuff salted away around here. up to the part of the parcel that belongs to Winchester. And then off in the distance to the east is the old Fells Reservation System. This would continue to be the driveway for the estate. Yeah, there's plenty of room for people here. The <laughs> trails are go every which way. This works out nice. I'll do a last shoot covering that leg to the Aberjona and taking a look at the Winchester parcel up that way. There's the train. That particular rail run is very busy. Amtrak uses it. And it goes to Lowell and the Woburn Internodal Transportation Zone. And it also carries stuff to Haverhill by a thing called the Wildcat Junction in Wilmington. Ooh, flowers. Look at it. Oh, nice. Boulder erratic. We're going a little upland and it seems to be mostly maple. <laughs> 